Black rain, uh, you know that I'm killing. We gon' take it top off like we walking in a building. Uh, so you better not press me. Every time you get the best of me, I smack you like Chris Rock. And if I didn't, no, I'm willing. This mad at two for Kobe Bean. When it hit my shoulder, lean. Hit stick, washed him up. In other words, we fold him clean. Rain gang, you know the team. I play with Fox, you know I'm king. Sit in the pocket, hit him with a strike, but I ain't bowling thing. Black rain is D1. What well, that makes you D2 adjustments. I lock up, I go beast mode on D2. No extra point, cause I need to. Hit the left. Think you need to, you can't stop it, nah, cause it's scheme new This the real thing in the preview and, and you know I weave through Any hole come get exposed If you ain't know, you finna know My record verse, you 10 and 0 and, and I got that stick work First you stop and then you go Before it started bending over like back pains This black rain This black rain, this black rain, this black rain Like, well, honestly, you really think you can beat me? No, no, I gotta run up the scope I'm getting dust for sure, uh This black rain, this black rain, this black rain Like, whoa All right, man, so I know I got to speed this up, right? Um, it's crazy. It's 7 a.m. I have not been asleep at all. Um, I just recorded my 400th win. But in this video right here, it will only get to 200 wins. Now, this is an hour-long video, hour-plus-long video. Like I said, I got to speed it up, right? I got to get out more content. Um, I got to make these videos longer. I can't post multiple videos in one day because it messes up my algorithm. So... I'll be posting hour long videos to try to catch up. So right here, um, you guys will see up to 200 wins. Um, crazy content, crazy games. Like I said, I'm only showing you guys the good games. So the first 20 minutes of this video will be like, I'm um, showing you guys fire gameplay. And then at the last 40, 50 minutes of the video will be uh, in-game commentary. You know what I'm saying? So a little switch up for you guys, but longer videos, uh, comp games, all of that and within this video we're going to talk about some interesting things man we're going to look at some man content we're going to have fun you know what i'm saying so uh do me a big favor man smash that like button smash the like button if you hear my voice right now i did this on one video i did it on one video bro we got like 1700 likes if you hear my voice right now hit that like button and uh comment down below you know what i'm saying we got some interesting topics to talk about today so i appreciate y'all man the grind is not stopping now mind you i'm recording this this morning uh, what is, what is it? August 27th. I'm recording this this morning at 7 a.m. So I get the video out at 5 today. So, uh, the grind is real, man. Like I said, just recorded a win of 400. Um, you check the leaderboard, you guys will see that. But I appreciate y'all, man. Smash the like button. Let's get into it. All right, man. So we got best to ever do it, man. Right here coming with the uh, Detroit Lions. Uh, let's talk a little bit, man. I know it's 7 a.m., but let's talk a little bit. You know, so I'm recording this at 7 a.m., but uh, how y'all been doing, man? You feel me? How y'all's day been today? Comment down below. Let me know how y'all's day been. I really appreciate y'all, man. Love all the support. Um, that right there was crazy stick work. Did me dirty. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Did me dirty right there. But the support has been real, man. The support has been been real. Uh, it's 100% worth the grind um, that I've been putting in. That's all. That's all I care about. Y'all continue smashing that like button and comment down below and keeping them views up 10k higher. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm gonna put out the content that you guys want to see. You know what I'm saying? You guys are. You guys are hitting that like button. You guys are commenting. You know what I'm saying? Y'all letting me know this is the content that y'all want to see. Um, like I said, man, we still grinding and everything. Um, that drop pass right there was crazy to me. Forced me to kick a field goal. If I would have caught that, I definitely would have went for it. But um, I appreciate all the support. Um, shout out a couple people, man. Uh, shout out to Calvin. Uh, always here comment. Shout out to, I want to say his name is Patek. Um, Patek is always comment down below. Uh, one guy, I want to say Deshaun. Um, I want to show some support to y'all, man. S show some support to y'all. So I'm going to my comments right here. And I'm looking at some names that I know usually always commenting. I want to shout y'all out, man. Um, like I said, I already said shout out to Calvin. Calvin's a real one, man. Calvin's been here for a little while, man. You know, Calvin's always the first one, man. Calvin's the first one. So shout out to Calvin. Shout out to Patek. Patek's always here early. Um, Deshaun Williams hits me with a what's up rain every single day. So shout out to him as well. Um, I'm seeing some new guys commenting more often. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Shad. Uh, 7149. Shad always commenting. Uh, protect once again, man. Um, I see one comment say he's a glitcher, fellas. All glitch plays. That's crazy. <laughs> but what y'all been up to, man? What y'all been up to? 
um, talk about this this conversation me and my buddy had it at the bar, right? Shout out to Sabrina Hunter. Sabrina Hunter is always commenting down below. Uh, young Shrimp Egg Fu Young. Shout out to you, bro. If you see this comment, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. Shout out to my mama. My mama always comment on my videos, bro. Every day. Man got that onside kick it back right there. I was sick. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. When he got that onside kick it back, that should hurt my feelings, honestly. Because I already thought the game was like, it was already rough. You feel me? I'm already down one possession. Then you get an onside kick it back. That's, that's honestly rough. That's rough. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm trying some different defenses. We get a nice interception right there on the fourth and eight. Love that. Shout out to Cruz, man. Shout out to Cruiser Net, uh, Cruiser Nation 3. Boy, been around for since like Man 20. My my dog, my dog Andrew Coleman. What's good with you, my boy? Um, Daryl Coleman. What's good with you? Um, let's see, man. Shout out to y'all, Roscoe. My boy Roscoe underscore three four. Shout out to you. My boy has been rain game for a little minute, dog. Uh, shout out to my boy Ayo Mike. Ayo is Mike. Uh, my boy uh, has a gun YouTube, bro. If you see A is Mike down below in the comment section, he usually comments three uh, three lightning bolts or something like that. Let's go, something like that. Check his channel out, man. Fire content. He, he uh, shoots guns. Fire content. Uh, my dog Andrew Coleman once again. Um, but yeah, shout out to y'all, man. So today I try to do that more often, man. I really appreciate y'all for the comments. Um, but today, uh, I was at the bar shooting pool, and I was with uh, my homie. Now these now uh, it's two guys, right? They're business partners. They 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 are in business together. I'm not gonna say what their business is. I don't want to expose who they are and things like that. But they're in business together, right? Um, now these two guys actually they they live together too. They're in, I mean they no they're not partners like that. But look at this play right here. Watch this play right here. Imagine an onside kick and a homie take it to the crib on an onside kick. Imagine that. Imagine that, bro. Imagine that. But these guys are business partners, right? And um, they actually live together and things like that. And um, they split their business 50-50, right? But one of the dudes, uh, do dude offered a friendly quit. And I'm like, bro, you just made me sit here and sweat. You kick onside kicks and you want me to... Uh, you want me to, to friendly quit you? I'm like, hell no, nah, you crazy? But, um, so one of the dudes do way more work than the other dude, right? One one dude actually does all the work, but they're splitting the money 50 50. And it's great money. Like, when they close one deal, they make like 15000 off of it. When they close another deal, they make like 25000 off of it. But, um, and for them, they've always said it's never about the money for us, it's never about the money. And they actually have a joint bank account. You feel me? And um, they really have—I mean, they have a joint bank account. And they all got—they they got their separate bank accounts too. So they put the majority of their money in a in their work bank account. Well, in 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 the, in the same bank account, and then um, they got their own personal bank accounts too. So, um, and I knew when they said, that, "I'm like, yo, there's no way I could." But they were like, "Bro, we we are for real partners, bro. Like, we for real, like we split every everything 50-50. They go to the bar, whatever the tab is, they split it 50-50. You know what I'm saying? They split everything 50-50. The rent, light bill, all that shit. Everything split 50-50. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's never a problem. If there is a problem, they talk about, like, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we should buy that right there. And then if they don't think they should both buy it, then, hey, bro, just buy it out of your account. You know what I'm saying? Just buy it with your money. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Then, then it's yours. You feel me? So, they're partners like that. So, today, I hit up in, I hit them in a group chat today. I'm like, yo, bro. I'm, I hit them both up. We're in a group chat together. Just me and them two. Like, yo. Uh, let's go to this favorite spot we like to eat at. And I got no reply to the group chat, but one of them, the one, one of them that I'm the closest with, he hit me up and just in a regular text message and was like, uh, "Are you trying to go eat?" He was like, "Nah, I ain't trying to eat right now." I'm like, "All right, you bet," because I was starving. I'm like, "All right, bet." And right then I knew something was up. I knew something was up because he didn't he didn't message the group. He messaged me directly. I'm like, "All right, something up." Um, I was like, "Where's such such at?" His business partner, he was like, I don't know, probably somewhere smoking his life away. And I'm like, okay, that's strike two. Something got to be up. And I'm like, where are you at? He was like, I'm at the bar shooting pool. I'm like, all right, yeah, this is this is weird. Because he don't never, like, when you see one, you see two. If one's one place, the other's there too. Like, this shit crazy. You feel me? Uh, so 
I'm like, so you're there by yourself? You're like, yeah. And I'm drinking. I'm like, what? He stopped drinking like three weeks ago. We both stopped drinking three weeks ago. I ain't drinking three weeks. He ain't drink three weeks. Um, his reason for stopping drinking, because he got drunk as hell. He got so drunk one day, and he just couldn't, he couldn't function. And he was like, you know what? That, that was it for me for a little minute. He usually don't get like that, but for some reason, he got wasted. He was like, yeah, I, I'm done for a little minute. So um, the reason I stopped drinking was because Madden, Madden dropped, and I was like, yeah, I can't. I got I to gotta be locked in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about nothing else right now but Madden. So um, he was like, yeah, I'm drinking, bro. I'm like, oh, yeah, something up. So like, I'll be there in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to holler at you. So we get there. I, I get there, and he was like, I was like, I just ordered him a bucket of uh, high noons. He was like, five high noons, come in the bucket, order him one. I'm like, what's good, man? He was like, yeah, bro, like, I'm just fed up right now, bro. I'm like, like what's good? I already knew what the problem was because his, his business partner really don't do no work. Like, he'll answer phone Like, we'll be out, you know what I'm saying, drinking, shooting pool, and we get a phone call. He'll have to, he'll leave the bar and go and, like, handle the phone call. Like, he handles all their clients, like, saves all their numbers on the phone while the business partner really don't do nothing, bro. Like, he just pitches in his little information every now and then but he don't really do no work but he's splitting it 50 50 and uh, he was like bro i'm just tired of it bro like even like, we just we just got a new a new apartment we just signed a new lease had to move out with everything out of our, new, our old apartment he was like uh yeah bro i asked him you know what i'm saying like you know today's move out day right and he was like yeah bro like so where you going he was like i'm going to smoke he was like all right so he was like bro i sat there and i had to like get everything together in the apartment, you know what I'm saying, so we can get it moved out, I did it all by myself, I had to pack up my, st- like, his stuff too, and take it to the other apartment, you know what I'm saying, to get everything set up, he was like, bro, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, and then, I gotta handle work, while he just going to smoking, and, and, and just, doing nothing, he was like, yeah, bro, like, we gotta have a little talk, bro, cause like, he was like, but I learned, since I've been here, to like, just, brush it under the rug and like see if the next day will be better he was like yeah bro like well, I tried that and shit ain't been better he was like so what I'm he was like what do you think I should do he was like I got two like propositions for him he was like I think what I was gonna talk to him about was like should I just like go ahead and do my own little thing and like you know what I'm saying just tell you that's it you know what I'm saying we, we can just gonna go our separate ways and I'm gonna do my own thing or like or should I tell him like you know well you can get a certain split you can get you can get a certain percentage, which is lower and I'll do all the work and you don't have to do nothing. And I was like, what do you mean by that? He was like, so I was gonna tell him like, listen, bro, we're cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're cool, but you don't do no work. You know so I do everything. So how about we just you know what I'm saying? Since we started together, you're a great you're a great friend. I'll give you 80%. No, no, he, 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 I get 80%. I'll give I'll give you 20% of every deal I close, and you have to do nothing. Like, you just get to live off of what I'm doing, 20%. And I was like, okay, what's the other option? The other option is just to go our own separate and just tell him, like, listen, bro, I think I want to do this on my own, and that's it, bro. Like, that's it. I thought that should have been a pick. And I thought about it for a second, and I was like, okay, what do I think you should do personally? Now, they are great friends, bro, great people. Uh, when things are going good, things are going good. When things are going bad, they still talk it out like they, they they make it work. And for me, I was like, okay, here's here's your, here, here's what can happen, right? If you say, you know what, let's go our separate ways, you know what I'm saying? Let me just handle the business by myself, and you just, I don't know what you're going to do, but you know what I'm saying? You're, not already, you're already not even helping me, so let me just... I can do it on my own and collect 100%. I was like, bro, if you tell him that right there, you can just go ahead and throw y'all's friendship away, pretty much. That was crazy stick work. And I mean crazy stick work after the catch. Crazy stick work after the catch. As y'all can see, some little DB fire off the edge, sent some blitz. I had a tight end wide open, but took the other corner out. Crazy stick work. Ugh, catch the block. Ugh. 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 Oh, my goodness. But I was like, check this out. If y'all... If you just say, bro, I'm going to do this by myself, 100% me, 0% you, like, y'all friendship going to be done, I feel like. I mean, that's, I mean, the friendship's over with at that point, you feel me? I feel like. Now, it's it's the truth, though, you know what I'm saying? It's the truth. He, if you, I ask him, like, what does he bring to the table that you can't do? He was like, bro, nothing. He was like, there's nothing that he do that I cannot do 
or that I'm not already doing by myself. Like he's just at this point, you know what I'm saying? He goes with me to the business meetings and things like that. But at this point, he just collecting 50%. And he was like, honestly, bro, not even about the money. You know that for me. And these two guys are they got they 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 pretty they pretty successful in their business. You know what I'm saying? But they're only successful because of that one person. You feel me? So he feel like there's no way I should be doing all this work and I have to give this man 50%. You know what I'm it's finally clicking to him because usually it was like, you know what, we split everything. Fuck it, that's my business partner. He's cool. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like it's getting aggravating because like whenever whenever life hits, you know what I'm saying? Or something come up, it's like he can't hold down the fort or whatnot. Like, oh bro, I gotta I gotta and they, they travel a lot too. Like, yo, bro, I'm going to Mexico. They want me to. I'm trying to look at this. Uh, he's trying to look at a hotel in Mexico that he was going to buy. But he was like, I can't even afford to go to Mexico for for a couple of days because who gonna do the, who gonna do the business while I'm while, while I'm away? You feel me? He was like, if I can't, you know, what I'm saying, have if you can't do that for me, then you know, what I'm saying, what what do I need you for? You know, what I'm saying. So I told him if y'all go that route, then you know, what I'm saying, it's gonna be more of a, like a. I'm saying y'all just gonna stop with business and. I mean, obviously, you know, what I'm saying? I don't know how y'all's friendship will be, but at the same time, y'all, you, you, you have 100% of, you know, what I'm saying, of the work you're doing. It's like having, a, it's like doing a group project, and you, like doing a group project, and you getting, you doing all the work, but you on, but y'all both getting the same grade for it. That's 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 weird. You feel me? Like, ain't no way. You feel me? Ain't no way. He should have took his sack right there because we end up catching a pick. Crazy pick right there, crazy pick. Should have took the sack. I mean, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say what he should have. I mean, he couldn't. I mean, he just broke the tackle, but probably should have threw the ball away, honestly. But I'm, um, I was like, but if you say, I think the best thing to do is offer 80 20. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, you know what I'm saying? If somebody downgrade my pay, then it's like, okay, I see I'm the problem. Okay, I see I need to pick this shit up. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Down now, if you get downgraded from 80, if you get downgraded from 50 percent. To 20%, it's like, okay, maybe I should pitch in more. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I got to get my shit together. Maybe there's a lot of fire up under them. You know what I'm saying? If y'all been doing this shit, for, they've been doing it for two years. If y'all been doing this shit for two years, you, it's tough to go from 50%, 50% to now zero. Just at the, at the, just, oh, we was doing 50%, then the next day it's fuck it. Zero. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to do that. I feel like it would be best for their friendship too. It'll save their friendship to be like, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying I've been doing the bulk of the work, you know what I'm saying? Let me take my 80% cut. I'll give you 20% cut, you know what I'm saying? Until you can, you know what I'm saying, until you help, or if you don't want to help, cool. I'll still give you 20% cut. Now, this he was with a female too at the bar too. This female was like, okay, what I think should happen is, you know what I'm saying, if you're gonna give them that 20% cut, you tell them for a year. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you can get 20% for a year until you can figure out what you're gonna do. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? But for 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 one year only, I'll do 80%. I'll give you 20% for one year after that one year. If you haven't stepped it up or whatnot, then that's it. You know what I'm saying? He was like, no, I'll give him 20% for life, bro, because that's my, that's my dog. And I was like, I don't think you want to do that because he's going to be living off of your 20%, off of that 20%. Like, he's going to be, he can live off of that. Like, they make such good money that, like, 20%. Of what he's gonna be making on these deals is still great money. It's still it's like a monthly allowance, like a monthly income. It's like, but twenty percent of what they make a month is probably, let's say they make twenty five thousand a month. What's twenty percent of twenty five thousand? What's that like? Fifty uh, percent of twenty five thousand is twelve thousand. Uh, so twenty five twenty five percent of that would be six thousand. So 20% would probably be like 5,500 or 5,000. So you're still making $5,000 a month off of the 20%, which is crazy, you know what I'm saying? But um, he's like, yeah, bro, I, I enjoy business partners, but I, I only enjoy business partners whenever the business is great, you know what I'm saying? And I'm in my I'm in a situation right now, too, with a business partner where, like, we talked about percentage and things like that, and then now that the time come, People act like they get confused, so it's tough being in business with people, man. I've said it myself. Um, I was not expecting that right there. I was not expecting that pick, but I said it myself lately. Like after I get done with the people, um, that was crazy, honestly, because I did the the that wire the out the the far receiver screen, not the the bubble screen, the far receiver screen. But I said it like after I get done, like with these next couple business things I got going on with certain people. 
I'm done doing business with like with people, individual people. I gotta do business where like I gotta do business with like businesses. You know what I'm saying? To where like everything's on paper. Now with this person I did have we, we do have some stuff in writing, but we also talked about some things like through group I mean through text and through phone call that we not we did not get on writing. So then now whenever situations come it's like oh i said that oh i didn't mean to say that or oh we never agreed on that and it's like so you don't remember that you don't remember that conversation no i don't remember and it's like okay cool but now i see we can't you know what i'm saying we we finna finish this show right here because you know what i'm saying we we had an understanding at first and now we want to act like we ain't got to understand it and i ain't i ain't with that you feel me so um i just feel like i'm gonna cut ties with like a lot of people because I, I, I always do good business like that's one thing i pride myself on is doing good Business, good business to get you a long way. Keeping your face card clean, keeping your like reputation clean, and if you can't do that, then it's like I can't, I can't, we can't do business. We can't. To me, we can't be. If you can't, be, if we can't do business, we can't be friends. You know what I'm saying? Now, and I, like I told my homie at the, par, at the bar today, like I'm get to a point now where I don't even want to do business with friends because that shit get personal. Like, business is personal, bro. Like, you fucking up my... Like, you can't mess up my money because I got bills and shit I got to pay. You can't mess up my... I'm like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd rather just be friends with you. And that's it. Like, I told him today at the bar. Like, honestly, bro, y'all are good people and good friends. Um, I don't never want to go in business with y'all, bro. I really don't because if shit hit the fan... I feel like we'll make a lot of money together, bro. But if shit hit the fan... We gonna we, that'll that'll kill a friendship, bro. That will kill a friendship. And I was like, I ain't, I ain't with all that. But um, coming up, man, after this video right here, you guys will get some in-game commentary, and we're gonna talk about a little bit about college, man. Gonna talk a little bit about college after this right here, after this game right here. Got some great in-game commentary for y'all, man. Trying to win my 200th game. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we still a far, we were still a ways back as far as content, but we catching up. We're going to catch up with these hour videos, man. Like I said, I just want to show you all the fire games that we got in between. I don't know how Sauce is going to be by Agnew, bro. We getting fried. And, like, he's running so much faster than Sauce was. Then he runs out of bounds celebrating. Then second and goal right here. Bouncing off people. Ping pong and find its way in the end zone. But, um, yeah, man. I'm still grinding. The content is going to be fire from here on out, bro. Um, I, I did a video with, with Eli Mack today. Uh, fired content with Eli Mack. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got a video coming with Zashan. Uh, Zashan, we got a video coming. I got a couple videos with, with Zashan coming out. Um, the TikTok, TikTok Madden player. Um, we got, I, got, I got some fire content coming out, bro. I caught, hey, surprise, surprise. I, I called out a couple of you. I, I, didn't, I ain't gonna say I called him out. I hit him up in the DMs and asked him, yo, bro, trying to get a game in soon. Um, <laughs> we we didn't we got a response from one person he was like ah eh, you know what I'm saying I really I don't know bro you know what I'm saying I feel like I'm not gonna say he's ducking because I don't I don't like to use that word but um yeah I kind of figured that I was gonna get that response though because a lot of people don't really want to play me bro it's just that, you, that I we I know why they don't want to play me it's just because if they lose it'll be a bad I ain't gonna say it'd be a bad look but like just afraid of losing. But then one person, he hit me. I, I said, yo. And he was like, yo, what's good with it, bro? I was like, she trying to get a game in soon? And he read it and didn't respond back. So uh, for y'all that's been asking me to play these YouTubers, I, I've been trying, bro. I, I tried. I hit a couple of them up. Got no reply from a couple of them. Some people, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. I, I tried my work. Only thing I can get is a, a yes or a no. And so far, I've gotten some no's and some people didn't answer back. So that's not on me. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, that's on y'all's favorite YouTubers. You feel me? <laughs> that's on y'all. That, that's on y'all people. Don't say, "Hey, yo, Rain, play him, bro. I want to see you play him." Shit, go go tell them to play me. How about this? If you want to see me play somebody, you go tell them to play me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, before we go any farther into this video, man, smash that like button. Uh, comment down below how y'all day been so far, man. Let's get into the second half of this video. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy: Prize Picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With Flex Play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. 
Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes' touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with Prize Picks, including Famous Lowe's, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, Prize Picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, Prize Picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download Prize Picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. All right, man. So, as y'all see, 199 and 6, 64 game win streak. We're looking for win number 200. Um, I have a semi comfortable lead right now, but not too comfortable. Um, 330 ranking points up, which is like it's like 15 points per win. And what am I, 330 up? 330 divided by 15. I'm up like 22 games. You know what I'm saying? So I can take like, I can't take no breaks pretty much. How about that? I'm up 25 wins right now. Um, if I'm at, well, I'm up 25 wins, but I don't know how the ranking points go. But up 25 wins and up 330 points. Um, just a grind, man. It's about a 180 and 28. Negative one game, one streak. This guy's on a 96 game, one streak. 114 and one. Boy, it's balling, man. Shout out to anybody. Like, I'm going to say this right here. This year is your year to, to, if you're on any type of rigs, leaderboard, this is your year to make content, bro. Like, this is your year. Like, if you are, if you're trying to be a YouTuber, excuse me, and trying to, like, not show that you're comp, you know, but show that you can win games. Um, if you're trying to show that you can win games, this year is your year, man. On the red leaderboard, if you're trying to show that you can win games, this is your year. Um, I'm t bro, it's it's your year. I'm glad I'm glad I decided to to grind rigs this year. I was thinking about like, hey, bro, what about the MCS? You know, because a lot of people, yo, bro, grind the MCS. But to me, I'm just not that into mutt. You know what I'm saying? I only do mutt for the content. So I do have a mutt channel. Um, at this point, I'm recording this, and I don't know when this video is going to drop, but um, I plan on playing some mutt. But at this point that y'all are watching this video, I probably started playing mutt on the other channel. I have two channels. This channel that I have Black Ring 4 2. Um, I have a guy who actually, you know what I'm saying, grinds mutt and uh, he lets me use his team to create content with. Now, I just do it literally for the content. I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it to try to compete with anybody or anything like that. Obviously, I'm trying to win games, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not like, hey, bro, I'm about to be a pro, so I need to practice some mutt and things like that. Nah, I'm really just playing just to play, really. And create great content. Please throw it. Yeah, I think he was throwing it too. Um, but yeah, man, much much okay. Much just not my cup of tea. I'm actually pretty decent at it. You know what I'm saying? Once I once I sat down and actually learned the mud, I was pretty decent at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit. Not that I didn't think that I would be. It's just the fact that like a lot of people thought that I wouldn't be. Not me. I I know I'm. I can play any game mode at any damn system. It really don't matter. But the topic of this video today is, uh, I had a guy comment on a video way back. He said, yo, Black Rain, drop videos like best blitz in Madden, best coverage in Madden, how to beat man in Madden, how to beat zone while it's super early in Madden so that your channel can go up. Um, for me, and, and I feel like I've never posted those type of, those type of videos on my channel because, um. There's no way you, there's just no fucking way you see double coverage and decide to throw it rather than, there's just no way you decide to throw that, bro. There's just no way. There's no way you see double coverage and say, hey, yep, throw it to my star, throw it to, throw it to Goddard. Double coverage, throw it to him, it don't matter. Fourth down, throw it to him. There's no way your mind processed that. Hey, bro, it's fourth down, fuck it, just chunk it up to the tight end. If your mind processed that, bro, then... It, it, it's okay because you actually got it. 
but that shit was trash can. Now it leads to we got we gotta get a stop. But um, I've never been that type of person because my ebooks. That's what my ebooks are for. Um, if I say it's the best blitz in, in the game, shit, I'm running it at that time, and it's probably gonna be in my ebook. Now, as far as best offense, um, I think my offense, I think the offense I run is the best offense. Well, I do know, I, I do know an offense that's that's crazy. I'm not gonna say who runs the offense, but it's a legit nice offense. Um, but it also worked. Now, I seen this guy run this offense with Hot Route Master. Right, but then I seen this guy run that offense with different teams, and the offense did not look that good. Now it works because high right master you can run anything possible, you know what I'm saying? But he does great with it, um, with high right master. With other teams, you know, he's still good with it, but not so much. But um, I think my offense is, is perfect. You just gotta not you, you gotta know how to read defenses. Wheel route by the running back. Nope. You just gotta know how to read defense. You gotta know. You gotta be able to look at it and say, okay, he's in either this defense or that defense, and that way you'll know exactly what you want to run on offense. You know what I'm saying? And if you figured out what he's in, then you'll be good to go. Um, but it's it's not super hard. Great defense. Kick you three. Kick it, you kick it three, loss. You lost, GG. You lost your GG. So that's that's what I'm actually pretty good at. I'm actually good at reading defenses. Um, actually play real life football. Play college. If anybody wondering, I graduated. Tell a little story, man. I graduated high school with a 3.7 GPA. Um, not only was I smart on the field, I was smart in the classroom as well. Um, my first offer was from Toledo. My very first offer was from Toledo. Um, then I went to the Shrine Bowl, which is the all-star game in South Carolina. It's actually South Carolina versus North Carolina all-star game. And um, had a very, very impressive game. And um, started getting a couple other offers. Um, I didn't really get, like, the big offers that, you know what I'm saying, like, the you know what I'm saying, the huge offers. But I got, okay, what am I actually doing right now? I'm trying to talk and my brain is all messed up right now. Bam, all right, that's what I want. Um, I had Notre Dame, the, my biggest school that I had that I talked to was Notre Dame. They came to the school and my uh, my scores was, uh, my ACT score was a, was a 23. And they said, well, that's pretty good. But, you know, for us to give you an offer, a full ride, we want to see a 25. And they asked me, was I going to take it again? And I told them, no, I wasn't taking it again. And they was, that was kind of the end of the conversation, honestly. Um, but to, for, to me, I'm like, I'm not taking it because, I'm not redoing it because, um, bro, I know guys that took the took the test and got fucking, I know guys that took the test and got 15s and 17s and shit that I'm going to school with, 19s. And I'm sitting here with a, with a 23. I'm like, I'm not taking that again. Now, you know, shout out to y'all for, you know what I'm saying, wanting to see me with a 25, but I'm not. And then in my mind back in the day, I'm like, listen, bro, I'm I'm coming there to play foosball. I'm not coming there to, I am going there to take classes, but at the same time, it's like, y'all recruiting me for foosball, and, and you, talk, you ain't telling me to, you want to see my 40-yard dash a little faster, or you want to see my bench press up a little bit more. You telling me you want to see my grades go up? Not even, not even my grades. I got a 3.9, 3.7 GPA, and you talking about a, a, a ACT score that I just went in there half sleep and took? And you talking about you want to see a twenty five? I got a twenty three. I'm like, nah, that's that's it. But um, I had like Akron offer me. I had a uh, a bunch of SoCon schools like uh. Western Illinois, no, no, Western Western Carolina. Damn, why I say Western Ill? Played against Western Ill in college, but West, uh, so, uh, fucking, what is it? South. I just said the damn school. I can't. Um, uh, Western Carolina, um, App State. I talked to the Citadel. 
think I might have had like 12, 12 total offers. But my biggest one was, uh, well, not even my biggest one, but um, I ended up getting offered by App State. And uh, I had two twins on my team. I had a set of twins on my team. And the offense lineman got offered by App State too. And then his brother was a tight end. He got offered by, well, he didn't get offered by App State, but we went on our visit. We all went on our visit together. My first, my first visit was Toledo. I went to Toledo. It was crazy. I'm talking. That was my first. That was my first like college experience. Boy, you talking about some fun. And you know, as a as a college athlete or whatnot, on your recruiting visits, they want you to have your best time because they want you to, to. They want to make you feel like family. They want you to feel like okay, when you get here, this is what it's gonna be like. You already a part of us. Let's have some fun. You feel me? So, who Toledo was crazy, and I end up going with. Uh, my Shrine Bowl quarterback. So, um, when I went to the Shrine Bowl, we had a, a my quarterback was Michael Julian. Um, he was like, yeah, I got offered by Toledo too. He was like, schedule your visit the same time I will. I like bet. So we scheduled our visits at the same time. We hop on a plane. Um, we we roommates in, in the room. And uh, you know you you on schedule when you get there. They take you on all type of tours and shit. If you gonna smack it, pick it. All type of tours and shit. You got an itinerary. You got to be on time for everything. And then you get a little free time at the end of the night. And then in the morning, you got to, you know what I'm saying? They tell you, hey, just make sure you're up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we went to this. We went to Toledo. We went to these parties, bro. And they take you down to Frat Street, bro. Oh, my God. And I'm talking about, like, not, uh, they take you down to Frat Street. Then they take you down to Sorority Street. The sorority Street was just packed. They show you all the houses. You go in all the houses. You party. You have fun. They show you all, of course, they show you all the girls. And then, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? We go out tonight. Hey, that's, that's the one right there. She might, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. And then you, you, you like, a, you you looking around like, first, you, you fresh out of high school. Well, you still in high school while you're going to need visits, but you looking around like, you said her, and then that, that, her, her name, and, 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 and they can tell you happy and excited, and you just like, hey, bro. And they're just like, hey, bro, just chill, bro. Like, you good? I'm like, ah, oh, fuck that. I already commit right now. You feel me? That's what they want you to do. That's how they, that's pretty much how they get you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? They doing what they supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And my recruit was cool. Uh, still talk to him to this day. Chris Dukes, uh, he coaches at Tiflin right now. I think Tiflin College. Things like a D2. Um, he coaches at Tiflin. When I was at, when I was, when I was at Youngstown State, he actually came up there and we, uh, he came to Youngstown State. Uh, he was like, uh, scouting one of our, not scouting one of our coaches, but like following one of our coaches to, uh, Learn a couple of things, but um, it was it was you know since so we were on our visit and uh, we ended up having some fun and then the next morning, our quarterback's like uh, Michael Julian was like, "Yo, bro, I, I, I'm committing." I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "Bro, you had that much fun last night that you?" He's like, "Yeah, bro, this this is school for me. This is it. I don't want to see nothing else, bro. This is it, bro." Come to find out, damn, I didn't do my five wide audibles. Come to find out, uh. He had talked to these, these two twins had convinced him to. So he's in a. It's got to be cover for a match or something. Got, got. I, I, I knew it had to be cover for a match just by the way they play in that right there. Um, he had talked to these two twins and they, two twin females and they con- convinced him. Yeah, we'll be here whenever you get here and. Fucker committed. <laughs> hey, got him right on the spot and committed, bro. Told coach, the next morning. Yep, this is this is a school for me. Yep. I will be here, coach. I should kick a field goal, huh? Oh, I need field goal range. Fuck. Okay, let me. Uh, let me think. I just called a timeout, right? Yep. So I really ain't got time to. Okay. All right, fourth and twenty. Um, shit. If this is match, they gonna play that perfect. I gotta hit one of these slants deep down the field. If I got time. How about that? Nope. That was shitty. Okay. Um, I just been sitting here talking. I ain't even. Been, I don't even know if this dude's good or not. I ain't even really been paying attention. I just been just talking to y'all. But um, yeah. So we uh, Toledo was fun. Then my next week, I end up going to App State. So me and the two twins went. And um, first night, you know what I'm saying? We had. Oh my God! I think we got weak boxed. All oh my guys were slow. We went to uh, first night was fun as hell. Um. Then second day we talked and was like, 
Um, now, this is us in high school. You know what I'm saying? 18, 17, 18 years old. And we you end up talking to the coach like we got leverage or some shit. We're like, yeah, coach, we like and everything, but we'll only commit if you give all of us scholarships. Now, they had already offered me. They offered the, the offensive line brother, but the tight end didn't get a scholarship. Uh, they wanted him to walk on. Um, but their their family was their family's rich first of all, so they didn't really need scholarships. But you know, a full, you know, say as, as one of the boys, you don't never want to leave. You know, what I'm saying want to leave one of the boys out. You know, what I'm saying so. I was like, you know, that's the only way. And then coach was like, well, we already got a couple tight ends that we've already offered and have committed. We was like, the best we can do is a partial scholarship. But like we in there, we in there like, uh, let me get my audible field. We in there like talking to the coach about it and we ain't even like committed you feel me but we was like i was like that's the only way that i'll commit here if, you know what i'm saying if all of us go here and you know we was we was friends before um we was friends in high school growing up the longest before anything so i was like you know what i'm saying if i'm gonna come here that's these gonna be my dogs and these are my dogs already you know what i'm saying so this is where we're gonna be at and we end up uh we ended up committing, you know. That's where I went my uh my fret my redshirt freshman year. That's where I ended up going. And I played a guy earlier who was in this shit, and I I was having trouble versus it honestly. Just cover four quarters match coverage. I was having trouble versus it, and what I was having to do was this right here, slant with a drag, some type of shit like this. Is what I was having to do. Okay, all right. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't good. Hmm. Oh, why, why not just go to your RPO shit, right? That's that's simple. He's in zone. That this is this is so simple. It's simple. Two on two out there blocking. Get busy. That's why you have that in your arsenal. That's why you have that. That's why you have that in your arsenal, bro. That's literally why. But um, I'm also watching a stream while I while I play this. But um, yeah, man. I forgot that work. I forgot that work too. I forgot all about this play. Wow. First of all, I didn't even know I. I'm, that means I'm not even on conservative. Wow. Yeah, I didn't do no adjustment, no nothing in this game. I just hopped in and just loaded up. Damn. So my red shirt freshman year, we get to App State, and I am with the worst crew ever. Not the worst crew, but we were just bad as fuck. Like. We were just bad. Before we even got to App State, we was all in a group chat. Um, hey, bro, I'm, I do this, bro. I do that, bro. My speed is this. I'm, I, I got these highlights. We're sending highlights. We're competing with each other through group chat. And we, hey, I can fight. I can fight better than you, bro. When I get there, we'll square up then when we get there then. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you. You know what I'm saying? We just, you know what I'm saying? It's just competitive. And that's when I knew our class was going to be special, bro. Like, that's when I knew that App State 17 class was going to be special. Um, we got there. As soon as we got there, we all clicked. When you get there, they all put y'all in like dorms, or well, we got there in the summer and they put us in houses. Like we was in like we was in like a neighborhood that was like we had like our own neighborhood type shit. Oh, let me get that. See, I hate this. Never mind. Bro. He's one for seven, and we in a close game right now. And I can't get easy ass interceptions like that. But um, they put us in houses, and we had like five houses all on one street right there and we was all housed up like it was like bro it was like five bedroom houses but it was it was chill though you know what I'm saying then you had somebody come and check on you every day um just to see what's going on and make sure the house is clean and shit like that it was it was real chill so the summertime we got there the first summer we got there the very the, well, the first weekend we got there we shut down this bar right shut down this bar we got the fighting bunch of glass got broke and the, the bar was like already like please go get him somebody the bar was already not like a, a high tier bar but when we got there in the summer like everybody started going because it was a chill bar then once we started going there it started getting more packed so they were just now trying to get their money back you know what i'm saying from being down so long and we started but we busted out windows and shit and they had to, uh shut it down the bar was called Pelucci's. For anybody wondering, because you either go to Char or you go to Pelucci's. At uh, now at App State they got tap room, they got a lot of shit. Um, now, but when I was there it was Char Pelucci's that was like on the main strip. Um, shut down Pelucci's. 
got to fighting and stuff. Like we were just troublemakers. We just stay. We just we just couldn't stay out of trouble. Um, and I end up getting suspended. Time out. Time out. I ain't get my adjustments down. I was finna. He was finna just throw a dot on me right there. I had to time out right there. If he come back in five wide, he got something cooked up. Yeah, he got something he like out of this five wide. Um. Which is so crazy. I know he's throwing that. I know he's throwing that. And I tried to lurk it. Wow, he got this tight end just wide open on this corner route. Throw it. Th somebody. No way. No fucking way, bro. No. No way. No way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just got done filthy. That's a clip. I should be on TikTok somewhere. Getting roasted right now. Oh my goodness. That was actually nasty. That was that was that was actually nasty. So I kicked out of App State. I ended up going to transfer into Youngstown State where I had a high school teammate at. Uh, he put in a good world for me. They offered me a full scholarship at Youngstown State. And um I ended up going, getting suspended like my I ended up going. When I was suspended from App State, I ended up going to Youngstown State on that suspension. So, I was suspended for the up-and-coming season. So, when I transferred to Youngstown State, I had to sit out that up-and-coming season. So, I sat out my freshman year. I played my sophomore year at Youngstown State. Had a crazy year. All conference. Um, I had a, I had a pretty solid year. You know what I'm saying? My first, my first, my first year had a very, very solid year. And then... Um, And then click on so I can do you like you did me. Then my junior year got suspended again. Couldn't stay out of trouble, man. That was my biggest problem in college. Couldn't stay out of trouble. Junior year got suspended again. But then I came back for our playoffs. Came back for the playoffs. We went to the national championship. Came back for the playoffs. Had a crazy playoff. As soon as I came back, had a crazy playoff. Um had a crazy playoff, went to the national championship. We got beat, but you know, the experience was great. We the only team in college history to play 17 games, I think it is. Only team in college history. I think it's the I think it's the playoff era too, the the, the, the playoff era. Because uh D1 double A there's a playoff system. It's not like the uh it's not like bowl games or nothing like that. It's just straight up. It's not like bowl games. It's a, a legit playoff bracket, and uh, usually the team that usually go to the the championship is one of those team, one of those one seeds who had a bye. But we didn't have a bye. We snuck in the playoffs. We were like the number. We were like the last team to get in. So we playing all the tough teams up until you know what I'm saying. We had yeah, just like that. You feel me? Just like ESPN. Yeah, yeah, ESPN. Just like that. We didn't have you know what I'm saying. We had a tough road. So uh, first game of the playoffs, we played. Uh, Samford, they was like, I think like top three in the country for passing, uh, passing yards. We beat them, and we was like a shocker. At, I mean, we we was good, but like, um, our conference was so good. Uh, the Missouri Valley Conference is so good. It's like the SEC or the D one double A. You know what I'm saying? So our conference is so good. So they try to push as many teams as they can in our conference. Whereas we might go eight and four in our conference. And then the team ahead of us might be nine and three. Then it might be eleven and one, and a twelve and zero in our conference. Whereas somebody might be eleven and zero in their own conference, or or eleven and two in their conference, and still might not make the playoff just because their conference is weak. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got a good record in your conference, don't mean that you solidified a spot in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Which is which is crazy. Screen. Make the tackle, please. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think this guy's good, but he putting up a fucking fight, bro. And then the second week of the playoffs, we went and played. Uh, the second week of the playoffs, we went and played uh, Jacksonville State, and that was supposed to be a for sure. Can we get a fumble? That was supposed to be a for sure loss for us. Jacksonville State was supposed to be a for sure loss for us. Uh, we ended up winning that game. I had a oof, 
I had a crazy game that game. And then we had a home playoff game. Uh, we played Wofford. All right, this should be a sack. We, we played Wofford. We ended up going to overtime, winning that game. No, sir. Let me get that up off you. Oh, my goodness. We bumped them, and it slowed us down. First of all, this dumb defense to be playing with 14 or 16 or 17 in second level. It's such dumb defense. Such dumb. And he just throwing under pressure. He, they just don't. They just fuck. I bumped them to get close to him, and, like, it just slowed me down. Damn, who got the ball first? If he... You know, he got the ball first. He kicked three. He got the ball first. He kicked three. And I said, if you kick three, you lost. And this motherfucker been fighting ever since. Damn. Then we went out to uh, Eastern Washington. Longest flight of my fucking life. Coldest weather. I think it's recorded the third coldest, uh, third coldest game in college history, I think it was. Um, uh, uh, get busy. Now slide on uh, uh, uh. Oh, we're not in field goal range. Motherfucker. Um, played against Cooper Cup. Played against Kendrick Bourne. Those guys. Uh, this is not smart, bro. If we throw an interception right here, I'm just trying to get up there in that field goal range. So if we can throw this out route. Whatever, and we had time to a catch two feet down, and we, maybe another second, and we had time to. That's the craziest part about it. We had time. That's the craziest part about it. Oh my god, bro, this game's bad. Oh my god. All right, man. So we ended up beating Cooper Cup, and them, and went to the national championship. Went down to Frisco, Texas, bro. Tell me why in Texas. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why the week we go down there, it snows in Texas, bro. Tell me why the week we go down there to practice up and everything, it fucking snows in Texas. And which wasn't bad for us because, you know what I'm saying, we, we in Ohio, we used to the, the snow and cold and shit, but we expecting some good weather and everything. And you know what I'm saying, you got to, and they telling you to bring certain cleats and things like that. Hey, bro, bring these cleats and those cleats. You know what I'm saying? For the, for the field, and the field was, the field was turf, right? No, 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 excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. The field was not turf. The field was so fucking frozen to the point where, like, you just slipping and sliding all over the place. And, um, it was like a, it was really a shitty game, honestly. It was a, we, well, we played a shitty game. They played great. They played great, um. They end up blocking our field goal. I think they blocked our punt. Well, we had we had a muffled field goal, and they blocked our punt. Catch the ball, yo! And how the fuck is Bradbury? How the fuck is Bradbury keeping up with 96 speed McCole Harmon in the first place? What the hell? Okay, this is this is this is a man blitz, and I want him to press, but he's not pressing. Hmm. I want him to press, and he's not pressing. That's the, he about to send the fucking heat. Great read. <sighs> Great read. You gonna do it again? Nope. Okay, we'll throw this RPO right here then. Okay, we'll take that. But yeah, I played more story. I played I played football. You know what I'm saying? So it's not hard for me to distinguish and break down the coverage. I played defense with some of the best coaches. Uh, I played defense with some of the best coaches. So that's how I, you know, what I'm saying I've been around football for a long time. So it's not. Ooh, I'm watching the stream. It's not hard for me to figure out what's actually going on. See this right here. I'm it's, it's man coverage. And, um, uh, 
That's the man covered. And thank you. Like, it's McCole Hartman running across the field versus Bradbury. Bro, he should get a hell of separation. I know Bradbury got great, great coverage, but this is a speed. Bro, this is speed, bro. I'm talking about at this point. I'm not talking about you sticking with me on the break of the slant. Like, uh, bam. You know what I'm saying? Three-step slant. Boom. Uh, you right here in my face on the slant. Bam. You jamming me up. Now, you done jammed me up. Now, you have to run with me now. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if them knees and ankles are still good. Now, how long can you run a 60-yard dash with me? You feel me? Can you run a 60 with me? Can you run a 40? What was your 40 time? You feel me? That man's name is nicknamed Jet for a reason, bro. All honestly, all honesty to me, this guy is not good. But he is playing a great game, bro. I'm going to look after at his record, and it's going to be some shitty to watch. It's going to be like 15 and 13 or some shit. It's going to be something shitty. Can y'all get lined up and, and get in position so I can see what the hell is actually going on? I just got to stop blitzing them. That's what's killing me, the blitz. I just got to play. Bend but don't break coverage. This damn run formation is what's killing me. Motherfucking pistol with three tight ends in the game. Pistol east tight. That's got to be a new formation. I'm just trying to figure out, like, when is he going to pass it? That's what I'm waiting on. That's the only thing I'm prepared for, the pass. And here it is. Out right with the corner. No, 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 no. So he has two, he has two outs and two corners out of that. Hmm. Okay. Let's put a purple over there. Of course you're going to run the ball on third and five. Of course you're going to run the ball. Of course you are. Now five wide, watch. Gotta be five wide. Gotta be five wide. Nope, no five wide. Okay, so he's in the same. No, this is wing tight, nasty. Okay, let's put a purple over there. We got a spy there. We chilling, right? What's he got? No, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Boy, I was about to lose my damn mind. He would have called that. I was going to lose my damn whole membrane. He would have called that. Okay. Looks like man to man. So we're going to treat it like man to man. We're going to do this so we can get my co uh, I don't know about now, but we're going to get my co on the slant. Can Bradbury run with you? Why would I lob that? Why would I? F why would I lob that? It look like I want to lose, don't it? You know what? Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to try some shit, but never mind. Just do the same shit we doing, man. It ain't, it ain't rocket science. Ooh. Bam. Okay, cool. This little whip route right here with the slant. I like that. Got him over there. He put a purple on that side for it, but I wasn't finna wait till that. I wasn't finna. I wasn't finna wait till that route ran all the way across there to that purple. I'm gonna throw it right down. The, nah, we're not waiting on that route to get all the way across there and and you sit right. Nah, 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 nah. Hell no. Nah, 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 nah. So y'all see, I do have different things for uh man to man zone and things like that. Um, the ebook will break it down a little bit better for you guys if you guys are interested in the ebook. Ooh, this is a close. Oh yeah, that game's over with. It's close, but the game's over. No, please make a tap. No, 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 no. Fuck no. All right, he can't get uh, he can't get in that same formation. Just run the ball like you want to now. I about to say you can't, bro. You got you got to you got to sling the rock now. And here is where we play. Here's where we play great coverage. Here's where we play great coverage. Somebody got a drag, double slant. Oh, we here. Oh, that's me. Let me get that. <laughs> it's it's fine, bro. It's it's fine, bro. Don't 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 say nothing. Don't say nothing. I know you want to say. Don't say nothing, bro. It's fine, bro. Cause I want to cuss the game out too. I do, bro. It's it's 
It's three on one back there, and we can't come down with interception, bro. It's crazy to me. Okay, just perfect. You can have that. You can have that. Six for 16. And this is a, a game, bro. Six for 16. And this is a game. Please contain. Do not let him roll out. Please contain. I, it was so it was too many crossers for me to even think about right there. Look at that shit! Like who runs that? That's who double post. It's not even something you think about running, bro. There's like there's like no, like okay there's like it's like too many people in one area pretty much. Like I can see here and with a slant coming back, but just it worked though. It worked. Can't 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 knock it because it worked. If we get hit me by a corner out on this left side, I'm going to be mad. Nope. A run? <clears throat> oh, my God. <clears throat> Give me the ball, bro. Give me the ball, Swift. Come on with it. Give me the ball. I'm here. Come on. We here. Come on with it. can't believe you constantly still trying to run the ball. I'm telling you, this dude's record is going to be so trash, bro. It's going, it's really going to piss me off because I, I really don't think he's good. I really don't. You know, I really don't think he's good. And I know his record is going to be... Okay, how about this? He's going A.J. Brown. You can throw that one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, my goodness gracious. Running back to the flat is crazy. Why drag? Oh, okay. Double drags. That's fine versus man-to-man. -man. I, can, I can dig that. I can dig that versus man-to-man. -man. Double drags. Okay, how about this? I'm picking off this corner out on this left side. That should have that should have been a catch. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened there or why he. I think it's it was still the corner route, but he just threw it too fast. I I I, I can't explain that. That should have been a catch. Um. Let's see. But we gotta catch a pick at some point. Okay, AJ Brown fried him. That's me. <sighs> you know? It's one of them games, man. Madden is just saying, you got to, bro, we got you. You, you got to fight the, all, all, the whole game, bro. It's just one of them games. Madden is just saying, you got to fight, brother. Just just stick it in there, bro. Just, just, just stay in there. You got to fight. He's not making bad reads either. This, these is that right there was a good read. I thought that was a fumble. Man, I thought that was a fumble. We're gonna run some. Oh, third inches. Fuck, I was about to. Okay, I want to run commit this, honestly. Like, why not? Fuck it. If he passed the ball, we'll live with it. And he ran, and we ran commit. Oh, my God. He should have got that. But it was funny is we I actually ran commit that, and it didn't look like we ran commit nothing. And for me to take that risk, and it, and it, it still didn't look good for me. That's what's crazy. Okay, here... This is perfect. Running back. I knew you. I knew you wanted that. I knew you did. I knew you did, boy. I think I know you, boy. I think I know you. Okay. Zone. Backing people up. Why? Why would you back people up in a, in, and it's two minutes left and you need to stop? Why would you be back? Like, you should be like press man to man blitzing, trying to cause a turnover. This man's backing people. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, he's going to have a horrible record. And these are the people I have hell games with. I run into somebody who's, you know what I'm saying, with a, with a good record, and I smack him up. Somebody with a, I'm, I know he got a horrible record. I just know he do. I know he do. Oh, shit. Man to man. Fuck. I wouldn't, and I got two clock on. I wasn't expecting 
man to man, but okay. Since you're going to be on the guy that's guarding the running back and not guarding the running back, make my job easy. Like, look at those stats. 17 for uh, five touchdowns, one pick, and we in a dog fight. Well, we, we've been in a dog fight. In a dog fight no more. Oh, we'll take that. He, he got his shit on. He got to have his shit on match. Because that dude was running to the flat, and then he tried to turn around and, and, and guard the slant. He got to have his shit on match. Uh, let's just try for the one time. You feel me? Down the middle of the field. Post down the middle of the field. Post. Oh, my goodness gracious. You know what's funny about that? Under, oh, that was under pressure. I tried to throw it to the farthest post. I tried to throw it to X, and they threw it to circle. That was crazy. But that was a GG, man. Let's check his record. And that right there was for win number 200. Win Numbre 200. That was honestly a sloppy ass game for me. 23 and 18. 23 and 18. Shitty record. Uh, 20 and 6 is the record, man. 20 and 6. Oh, man. Hit that like button, man. I'm grinding, man. You can't hit the like button, bro. I'm grinding. Smash that like button. I appreciate y'all. Hey, Blair White, oh, yeah, huh.